It's called Demi McGee Dreams to See. It's written by Andy Stanton. I shall read it. Let's just check a copy. Yeah, it's good. One summer's day, Danny and Fanny McGee hopped into a car and drove down to the sea. The sea huh, was all sparkly, blue as can be. Oh, what is nice. South you know what? That is actually South Sea Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can drink it, said Danny McGee. It said Fanny, no, Danny, I can't. I'm a group. You'll never drink all of it, Danny McGee. I will just you what, replied Danny McGee. Please fetch me a straw and then you'll see. So Fanny fetched a straw, a very long straw that was longer than a sheep, and Danny McGee started drinking the sea. That's sea. Can't see that. In ten minutes' time, there was no sea to see because all of the sea was in Danny McGee. Told you it was sea. I cannot believe it, said Fanny McGee. You've drunk the whole lot. It's amazing to me. I'm just getting started, said Danny McGee. Danny McGee. Yeah. And he flicked out his tongue and he swallowed a tree. That's proper sea. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> silly book. And he swallowed a bird, and he swallowed a bee, and he swallowed a cat who was drinking some tea. And he swallowed a fly, and he swallowed a flea, and he swallowed a man who was learning to ski, and he swallowed a pie, and he swallowed a pea. And there's a, can you see the pea? There's a big tiny pea in that picture. And he swallowed the weather girl on the TV. Oh my gosh. He's eating everything. You're naughty, said Fanny. I'm telling you, you'll see. But Danny just giggled, tee hee, and he swallowed a swede. And I know you think there's no such thing as a swede, but believe me, there was before Danny McGee. Right. Well, <laughs> and I will swallow it all, said Danny McGee. And he swallowed the sand where the sea used to be, and he swallowed the mountains and every lost tree, and he swallowed Why the jungles. Why is it? I don't know. It's just silly. I did tell you it's silly. <laughs> Shall we see what he eats next? Yeah. Okay. He swallowed the people, and that includes me, and I'm writing this book inside Danny McGee. Really, really carefully, you can see the pie and the pea, all the people. Why people? And that's Andy writing his book inside it. <laughs> Prophecy. <laughs> he swallowed America, land of the free. He swallowed up London, chim chim cheri. <laughs> All the chips in London, it's a lot of chips. And he swallowed the alphabet, the A, B, and C, and he swallowed the numbers, one, two, and three. And he swallowed until <gasps> there was no more to see. He's eaten everything. Shall I turn the page now? I'm going to do a bit of singing now. Okay, get my lyrics. Turn the page. Yeah. 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 But then Franny said, Danny, you didn't get me. And she opened her mouth and she swallowed Danny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the story. But if you look at that picture, that's the last page of the book. I did tell you silly. You look at that picture, can you see something up in the sky? Sun? It's a sun, isn't it? That's right. So we put the sun in there to show that actually this is just a silly story and you couldn't have done it with us. It's silly. Do you want to see a quick, there's a little picture just to show you. The man that wrote the book, that's him water skiing there. And there's a little picture of me drawing a picture of him water skiing. Anyway, he sat really nice.